little break from social media because it was it was causing me um it was really like causing depression. Why depression? Because comparison is the killer of all joy. When you look at it, I was looking at for me, I can't say nobody else. Y'all might be way stronger than me. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But yeah. me, I'm a normal person. Uh-huh. I never see myself in my greatness. But all people do is post their highlight reels. And I'm comparing my real life to somebody's highlight reel. Not- it's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Bobby Smurda had the biggest buzz in, in the world. But now if it's Smurda Bobby, who we've never heard of, that 800 might do him very well. You know what I'm saying? So it's different because it's different buzzes. You know what I'm saying? So um, in certain situations, it's, it's, it's different. But in, in general, if an artist has never transitioned to signing himself, then that artist has been pimped his whole life. Because for my second album, I signed myself. I, I figured my first album, I got jerked. Right. So I made up a, a record label, didn't tell the label that I owned it, continued to do business with them, but I told them, you got to do business with this label. So they signed on to do business with the label, be partners with the label, and they didn't know that I was the owner of the label. Make some noise for me, guys. Oh, Good evening, Jeremy. Thank you. And thanks to everyone watching. Let's get right into the weekend review. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers still own the Bears, winning 24-14. Looks like Houston has a problem, falling to Wentz and the Colts, 31-3. The Rams dwarf the Giants, 38-11. And the Chiefs deliver in FedEx Field, boxing up the Washington football team, 31-13. The Ravens shock the Chargers, 34-6. And the Jaguars edge the Dolphins by a whisker, 23-20. The Bengals continue to earn their stripes, defeating the winless Giants 34-11. And the Vikings sailed out of North Carolina with a 34-28 win over the Panthers. The Browns were seeing red, bled by the Cardinals 37-14. And Oakland raids the Broncos 34-24. The Cowboys hogtied the Patriots in overtime 35-29. And the Pittsburgh plays Steely in Seattle 23-20 also in overtime. The Tennessee Titans roamed over the Buffalo Bills on Monday night, 34-31. That was a close one. And even though they're talented, the Eagles fall to the Bucks, 28-22. Some good things to take away from the game. Um, you can't really be too down, except for Jalen Hurts holding on to the ball, making poor decisions, not trusting his receivers to be in position because sometimes he is out of position and looking to run. The Bucks offensive line may have held the uh, the Eagles defensive front in check a little more. Uh, maybe we'll start we'll start to see some of the effects of the Brandon Graham loss. Uh, but speaking of losses, the Birds have 86 number 86 and Zach Hurts tight end has been traded to. Arizona Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals. Um, yeah, and hopefully, you know, he plays well. He was a, definitely a good addition for our team. He'll be missed. He'll be missed, but hopefully Goddard steps up. Um, I don't know if Richard Rodgers is healthy, but, you know, I guess that just means next man up. Maybe that means Kenneth Gainwell coming out of the backfield a little bit more, but 
Hertz has got to trust his receivers. We need to see a more concerted run effort as well. You're not going to keep the defense honest by you know throwing, dropping back, and throwing the ball multiple times. Uh, I guess there was more defensive pressure. I don't know. It was it was really disheartening to watch, especially throughout the uh, the first half. I think they might be holding out a little bit. Don't want to show too much of their offense for later on in the season, but for also the second half of the game. But they need to make better in-game adjustments. I think a lot of the errors on the field are resulting from our, our new coaching staff. And hopefully they start to iron out some of these wrinkles. It's still early in the season, and the division it is, you know, anybody can, can make a move. So let's hold out hope. You know, let's continue to watch. I'm going to log off and uh, take care of some homework that I got. <laughs> so it's definitely good to hang with you guys. Good to see you. This is Kyle Mari logging off. And like always, I'll catch you next time.